Will Starship delays kill off our return to the moon? Or will NASA budget cuts get there first? Stay tuned because we are going to hear what NASA themselves are saying. At a recent meeting, NASA's Jim Free raises some of the agency's concerns about the future of Artemis. In a surprising intervention, NASA has thrown SpaceX into the spotlight, raising concerns about potential delays in the highly anticipated Artemis 3 mission, and they are pointing the finger at SpaceX Starship as the culprit. Concerns are mounting about SpaceX's Starship development problems and their ability to meet the December 2025 timeline for the launch of Artemis 3. The dream of returning humans to the moon seems to be turning into a nightmare for some. So what is at the root of these concerns? Is this a case of misplaced ambition, technical hiccups, or are there deeper issues plaguing the Artemis program? As many await humanity's return to the moon, NASA and its partners have been working tirelessly to make the Artemis program a reality. However, recent developments have raised serious doubts about the ambitious timeline initially set forth by the space agency. The unexpected statement from Jim Free saw NASA publicly expressing concerns that SpaceX's Starship slow development could push the much-anticipated lunar landing program into 2026 or beyond. Speaking to a joint meeting of the Aeronautics and Space Engineering Board and Space Studies Board, Jim Free said, For Artemis 3, I mentioned December 25 is our current manifest date, but with the difficulties that SpaceX has had, I think that's, that's really, really concerning. Not only has Musk and his Starship team to demonstrate that a Starship can fly and land and fly again, one of the other big challenges is that the SpaceX human landing system requires Starship to refuel in space in order to accomplish its mission. This is something that has never been done before and without its Starship and the current Artemis proposals are dead in the water. With Starship still facing unresolved technical issues, is it time to admit that the current Artemis timeline is unrealistic? This would be like throwing a wrench into NASA's carefully crafted plans. With each delay, the dream of sending astronauts back to the moon becomes more elusive and the blame game gains momentum. It can be no coincidence that in recent days NASA has announced Blue Origin as second Artemis lunar lander provider. Whilst we only know a little about the Blue Origin proposals, it's clear that NASA want to ensure redundancy in the process. Without doubt, Starship will be an extraordinary spacecraft when it is operational and will indeed be a gateway, not only to the moon, but to Mars and beyond. In the meantime, NASA are faced with not only possible delays on the technical side, but also face tough budgetary decisions. NASA had asked for a 7% increase in their budget, but the recent Fiscal Responsibility Act, which was signed into law by President Biden, allows for only a 1% increase. There will be many in NASA weighing up carefully how they will proceed and which missions receive priority. The road to the moon is certainly a rocky one, but as the lunar dust settles, NASA's concerns about Starship, as well as the pressure on its funds, serves as a stark reminder of the immense challenges that lie ahead in this cosmic quest. The dreams of walking on the moon once again are at risk of slipping away. And while the blame game may provide temporary relief for frustrated stakeholders, the larger picture must not be forgotten. The Artemis program symbolizes our relentless spirit to explore and conquer the unknown. It is crucial that we address the underlying issues, find common ground, and realign our collective vision to ensure that the Artemis 3 mission and the future of human space exploration can once again soar towards the stars.